Good day everyone and welcome to another quick tip. Today we will be talking about shoes that come from Make Human that are going to Blender. Because as you can see, um, or as you have noticed, whenever you put shoes from Make Human into Blender, the shoes don't bend. They're rock solid and they behave in a very strange way. Um, now me personally, I know that my own shoes flex whenever I um, walk. Uh, they're not made of wood. Um, so I prefer to be able to control them in such a way that um, they do bend if the character has to stand on their toes or whatever else. So we will, I will be showing you how to get your shoes to cooperate and it might sound complicated but it's really not. So let's just get into it. So what we have here is just um, our plain Make Human screen. As you can see it's just a model, basic model. So let's just um, do some basic stuff here. Let's give it some clothing. Let's give it some jeans and a jacket and a shirt. And most importantly, shoes. High or low race doesn't matter, same principle. The only difference is, is that uh, for some reason, uh, some of the high resolution shoes I made, I think that maybe because it's a new uh, unstable version, um, don't have the sole attached to the shoe and even parts of the sole are separate. Um, in those cases, all you need to do is just remove the doubles in edit mode uh, and that will solve that problem before you do the steps that I'm going to show you in Blender. Um, so now that we have a basic character, uh, we are going to just switch on a few things. This is just an uh, uh, why not? Eyelashes, no eyebrows, yes. And I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Now, in this version of Make Human, you don't need to um, select a specific rigging. Uh, when you export in the old version, which is the stable version of Make Human, it exports a basic. Uh, rig as well that has IK and FK and all that kind of other fun stuff. So what you do now is you save this and you export it in a Blender format. So in, in my case I'm not even going to save it, I'm just going to show you how to export it. So I'm going to click export and I'm going to use the MHX format. With the new unstable builds you'd most likely use Collada. So let's just call this one a uh, shoe problem. <laughs> uh, I don't mean any disrespect by that, this is simply just, for me it was a shoe problem. So let's just export that. Okay, that's great. Now go into Blender. Okay, now in Blender, you simply go import and you use MHX and you get your file and you bring it in. Okay, now, there we go. Okay, now I'm just going to switch my rig to be IK instead of FK. And I'm going to switch these over here, and that should do it. That's good. Now I'm going to give the pants a different color so that they stand out. So that the shoes don't look the same. Okay. Now, as you can see, the rig is already set to work with IK, and this is what the shoes do if you don't have them correctly rigged. See, see what that does. Ignore the, the leg twisting funny, but the, the, the shoe doesn't bend at all. I mean, look at what happens if you try to um, lift it so it actually does bend. See, see, that's what it does. It just moves up, and I don't want that. So what I do is I take my shoes on the character, and I press Alt-P to remove the parent, to clear the parent, sorry. You clear it and you keep transformation so that nothing strange happens to the shoes. Now you're going to tab, make sure everything is selected, scroll down under tools, under transform and look for remove doubles. Not in every case there will be, but let's see if there was in this case. Yes, there was. 272 vertices. Okay, that's good. Now this is that step I was talking about that you have to do before you um, do the steps that I'm going to show you. Um, Removing the doubles is so important because if it does not stick 
to the shoe, anything that's loose will react in a very, very weird way. Okay. So go back out of edit mode so that we have our solid shoes. And now you select your rig. Make sure that it's not in pose mode. We want it to be parenting correctly. Okay. Now you select your rig and you press control P and you select automatic weights. Okay. Now look at what happens if you move the heel. There you go. See? Now your shoes flex. They can even flex back. Ah, oh, no. Flex back. You need to just move this back like that. And they can flex forward like that. And if you were to move this up now, you would see that the, the whole thing moves up. The only issue is that there are minor weight issues, like you see at the back there. Um, but they are a very small compromise for me to, um, <laughs> that looks funny, to, to be able to um, have my shoes react in a way that I would really consider to be not more realistic, but more functional. Like that, you see, it's just great. Okay, well, that's it for this quick tip. Um, I hope this helps you with your Make Human characters. Uh, if you've struggled with this before, um, don't feel alone. I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Um, this is not a knock on the default settings in Make Human, but I prefer shoes to be able to fix. Um, have a great day and God bless.